Welcome back to another part of this Injustice 2 Multiverse playthrough. This time, we're doing another character I can't use for the life of me. Cyborg. So, which cyborg shall we use? No. Where's the one that has the, uh... I think it's that one. Yeah, that's the movie one, I believe. Yeah. As much as I would like to use the grid, but... This is the one from the movie, right? From, uh... Yeah, this is the one they give you from the uh, Justice League thing they did a while ago. Let's use Cyborg. that one. I'm going to put it down to easy because, like I said, I don't know how to use Cyborg. So, here we go using King Ezekiel. For those of you who don't know, the voice of Cyborg in this game and in Teen Titans Go is also the actor that plays King Ezekiel in the Walking Dead series. Fun fact, right? Really fun fact. Anyway, who are we fighting? Batman? Yes, let's see what Cyborg has to say to Batman. The regime won't take no for an answer. Is that supposed to scare me? Are you gonna regret saying that? Damn. Begin. Right, can't use Cyborg for life of me. Cannot use Cyborg for anything. Uh oh, how the hell did I do that? Cyborg have like a special... He does. Is that one of those moves I put on him? Hold on a second, I just want to check something here. Uh, is that a move I put on him? No, he has that. Okay, that's good. Sorry about that. I was doing training mode, never knew he had that little sweep. I'm almost embarrassed. Like I said, I can't use him for the life of me. He's, uh... That's not what I want. So I gotta go. Here we go. Get him! Yes! So hard to get the timing on that. Uppercut to Batman's face! Take it, Batman. Cyborg wins. Take it like the Batman that you are. Alright. Doing pretty good with King Ezekiel. Sorry, I mean Cyborg. Huh. You know... I'm playing as a character. Goes by the name of Cyborg. This will be a lot better once... Robert England... And cyborg talk here. I'm gonna let them talk. I will tell you afterwards. What's your deal anyway? I create fear and disruption. Online we call that trolling. Damn, wow, that's that scarecrow skin is amazing. Wow, that's looks like uh the canker man from that movie there. Before I wake or something like that. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it's called. That's what that, that costume or that gear looks like with that shader. Suck on that. Ugh. Booyah, indeed. It's a shame. I'm using a character I don't know very well how to use. But I'm playing him, and yet I smile. This should be also be known as Injustice 2 playthrough with Cyborg, seeing how many King Ezekiel references I can make. <laughs> Sorry, I, I really like The Walking Dead, okay? This will kill him, but, uh... Pretty pointless, but hey! I get more points now! Technicality killed him with a super! Uh, we gotta see Cyborg super at least once before, uh... We complete the multiverse here. He has this. I think no. This is the one he sends you into the uh, apocalypse, right? The bats swarming around or something. Cause he doesn't do the giant kamehameha blast like he did in part one, right? Yeah. You had any sense? You go home. Got plenty of dollars, but not much sense. That's a good way to get yourself killed. That's a good way to be snarky. I love him. He, don't ever change, Green Lantern. Don't ever change. What in the blue hell is Cyborg's launcher? His launcher combo. Not involving his meter burn BS. There it is. Damn it. That's my face. You know what? Just, just yeah, tackle. Booyah. No, no booyah. Get him, you strange little machine thing you. I have no clue how to use. That? I meant to do that, by the way. It's 
Just trying to gain that meter. There we go. Get him. I am very upset right now. But you know what? I missed his super, but yet I smile. His super was blocked, but yet I smile. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop with the uh, Walking Dead references. I said, look it up. The voice actor for Cyborg plays King Ezekiel on The Walking Dead. Look it up! Unless you already knew that, then. If you already knew that, good on you. If you didn't, look it up. Look it up, I tell you. Red Hood, right? Yes, Red Hood. You turned on us fast enough. I go my own way. That's a good way to get yourself killed. Oh, Red Hood, Red Hood. What could have been? I want to tackle him, but... Yeah, see, the way they make you do that tackle is annoying. It's my face. See the weight? There we go. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Thank you, game. I don't I don't want it again now, okay? Booyah! Bo -bo -bo Booyah! By the way, those of you who think I dislike I like Cyborg, okay? I think he's a cool character. I like the fact the voice actor for him is very dedicated to him. He voices him in just about every goddamn instance. That or he just works for pennies or something. Because he's a, him in Teen Titans Go. He's him in uh, the Lego Justice League movies. Or the Lego DC movies. Besides Lego Batman. He voices him in the original Teen Titans. He voices him in this game. He voices him in Injustice 1. He just voices him in every instance that Cyborg is in. Which also he voiced Aqualag in... Um, I think it was Aqualad. In Young Justice? Yeah. He's the voice of Aqualad, I believe. That's where he used his serious cyborg voice all the time. I want nothing to do with you. We are similar, almost family. Uncle Brainiac, no thanks. Yo, he called him Uncle. Super kick. Take that. Alright. Oh my goodness! What the hell happened? Man, why can't we play as Boss Brainiac? Boss Brainiac is so cool with the whole grabbing and the thing and the other things on the ship. Goodbye, Boss Brainiac. Oh man, I can't wait till I get to the guest characters. This game... I'll, as much as there are problems with it, it's kind of hard for me to hate a game. In which I can play as Batman, Superman, Sub-Zero, Raiden, and all four of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Hellboy, all in the same game. It's really hard for me to hate this game. Like I said, I will nitpick some things in it, <clears throat> the gear system. But other than that, I really think it's a good game. And the way they did DLC was uh, very smart, releasing a character once a month. Granted, it took them all the way up until 2018 to get every character in the game. That was smart. At least one character a month. Get the hype generated. And I've apparently Street Fighter V Arcade Edition is going to be following in that suit. But we already know that by the time this video goes up. Anyway. Enjoy Cyborg's ending. I'll see you right after Cyborg's ending. Let's hope it's a good ending. Here we go. Brainiac thought he had me all figured out. Said my humanity made me weak. But fighting for humanity gave me the strength to body that punk-ass Kolewin. And before he dropped, I took a few things. His 12th level intellect and his ship's data core. I thought the internet was gigantic. But now, I've got the whole wide universe at my fingertips. First up, I put back every Earth city Brainiac stole, starting with my hometown, the Motor City. Then I keep going. Superman wants to secure one world, 
but I can reboot tens of thousands. Every last one in Brainiac's collection. Gonna be a long trip, but another benefit of my new 12th level intellect is I can reunite with some old friends. Titans together. Booyah. I actually really like that ending. Bringing back some of the Teen Titans there. Granted, I didn't see Raven, unless Raven is now just a uh, white-skinned blonde woman instead of being a pale-skinned, purple-haired woman. Anyway. Uh, I was going to say something about Cyborg, but I can't think of it right now. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this. As much fun as that was. Uh, granted, I did terribly, but yet I smiled. Damn it, there's another reference. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this anyway. My name's Clinker Ross. Stay tuned for some more Injustice 2, and I thank you all so much for watching.